So, without the doubt, this was the most curious and most excited I was for a Black Clover episode because it was the content. I think you guys know when I last talked about the series when I was like, I cannot wait. I was like rubbing my palm in my hands. I was like, this is going to be brand new material for me and there are a lot of people out there who aren't Japanese. Where I was like, I need to know exactly how he met these characters, mainly being Franzel, Mariella, and uh, Dom uh, Dominique, uh, Dominel, um, where, especially, like, because when it came to this episode, I was, like, very excited, I was, like, rubbing my chair, I was, like, alright, I, I, like, again, I wasn't expecting, like, 10 out of 10 masterpiece stuff, it was just nice to kind of be, I guess, excited and curious, I guess, the ones where I was, like, alright, so what have we got in store for 55, and... We find interesting enough about this episode because there are there are problems with this episode. There are a lot on the production wise of the episode where I think this episode was just very rough. It looked hideous throughout the um a good chunk of it. How characters interact as well. Now I like to say whether or not that's part of the light novel as well. It's just not explaining things very well or not giving a lot of clarifications, but. It comes to a very quick resolution where, like, one character is like, I want to kill myself, and then immediately gets up, and it doesn't explain a lot with, um, Mariella as a character as well, especially with how flip-floppish she is about how she acts towards Franzel, also a bunch of these just no-name goons, and just, overall, like, I think aesthetically, like, the episode just did not hold up as well, and it was like, you can tell that this this was more on an afterthought, and it was more like, oh, fuck, we actually have to do this, don't we? That That's what this episode felt like, where it was like, they did not plan for the light novel. I think what the fact of the matter is, is that this was one of the episodes where it was like, they were not really ready, I guess, for like the extension to the show, because what their original plan was, we were going to end it at the 51 point, but now we're keeping going on, and I think this is a part to do with that. But then as well, I think maybe maybe the fact that the light novel itself just isn't that good. Like, we that's one thing to tell. But to talk about the episode itself, interesting enough, they start off with saying, who is this mysterious man that named Franz or that Noel met at their door? And they're like, we need to turn back the clock a little bit a little while ago. And it goes back to episode one, Asta. It goes... After he defeats his opponent and gets his grimoire, uh, like, well, technically episode 2, I guess, um, being on the, kind of technical about it, where he actually is training, he doesn't know how to use his sword very well, and this is where he encounters Franzel, who is for some reason naked, and he's running away from a boar, and he's like, oh, I was, I was you know, having something to eat, and I was having the shower, and then this asshole came in there, which we find out later on that he is actually used to be part of the Diamond Kingdom, um, interesting, and laugh, so, like, he already met someone that was already part of the Diamond Kingdom, who's like very chill, and decides to teach Asta how to fight because he finds out, he kind of sees what this kid's got a little bit of potential. He doesn't want him to abuse his power. It turns out Franzel was actually a teacher um, in some way or some manner of form where his magic, his wind magic, is actually one where he can turn a stick or any kind of wooden object or just any kind of like object itself into a blade. And he's kind of known for like this blade master, like uh, I think it's like Demon Wind style or whatever it is um, that he has. And it's like he actually ends up teaching Asta. The thing is, though, there's not a lot of the training going on in this episode. It's just like, no, no, you have to, you know, bend your knees a little bit. And that's all it. And it's like, oh, something he has to do is like an amazing swordsman. And that was the str I think a lot of the struggles was definitely, I think, the training itself wasn't very fully detailed. And it was just like, hey, just swing your sword this way. Like, And it wasn't like, again, where it's like... It didn't feel like a lot more like Asta was struggling. It felt like he le he stayed with him for like a day. I know it did say in the subtext like he stayed there for like you know a, couple, a week or two like around there. Again, like learning how to use a sword as someone has actually fucking learned like to use a sword before and all that. Like learning swordsmanship is actually legitimately hard. Like it isn't just uh, uh, swinging around. You actually it does take a little bit of finesse around that, especially when he's using a bulky piece of shit like his first sword is. Like that's kind of how it's supposed to be now. Then he, uh, a couple of, after these couple of days, he fought, 
we find out this character known as one of his students from the Diamond Kingdom, known as Mariella, who, when we find out about her, where she's like, oh, basically, like, the Diamond Kingdom is after uh, Franzel. They're kind of, like, searching around for him. She has a lot of respect for Franzel and sort of his actions and everything, and is the main reason that she apparently kind of helped him escape. And her fucking reasoning getting later on, where she's like, you sound like, you don't sound like someone that respects the Master. Turns out she's a traitor. She stabs Franzel and is like, I'm taking you in. But don't worry, though, we respect you, and you just need to come back, and the test subject is ready, which we find out the test subject is Mars. He was responsible for basically tutoring Mars and a bunch of other uh, Diamond Kingdom soldiers, and he's like, I don't want to do that anymore. Not to mention, as well, he was running away with his fiance, which is Dominique, which we don't, we only see a tiny bit of her, and you will see her later on in the, um, like, when we get back to the, ca I guess, the present. I was going to say canon, but this is actually canon to the series. It's just not in the manga itself. Where this appears and basically is like, gets told, lols, um, Dominique is dead and uh, puts out a wand, uh, like, at one point. Whereas, like, I think Mariella was expecting, uh, Franzel to come back instead of just being overly depressed or anything. Or to, like, let his gun. It's just, I feel like she was the main issue of this episode. Like, even they said, I think the episode could look ugly, but it's just like, her reasoning is just out of the fucking window. Like, we still don't know a lot about this kind of, we know, like, all the diamond, how the Diamond Kingdom soldiers are raised. It's just weird. Like, it just feels like maybe we should have spent time with this character before this little plot twist, I should say. And I know that the light novel hasn't got that many pages to, like, go through it. But again, it just feels very sloppy in some areas. And that, that's saying a lot from Black Clover standards when I'm saying that Black Clover was sloppy. When it is not a very well-written shonen. It is not a deep shonen. It's just your fun, lovable junk food that, you know, that you get. Like, it's just how it is. I'm not expecting, like, insane Hunter Hunter levels of stuff or, like, one piece levels of world building here it's like but i expect a little substance like especially with something that is quite important to the story because guess what like surprise you're going to be seeing franzel in the latest arc and how it comes from episode 54 and like with astis broken arms this is also again something that's very weird where it's like yes this should have been in the show previously because net we are having another week's uh, episode about this where this continue in, like interestingly this is all in just a matter of like just one episode it takes place during the third like the first two episodes then also as well skips a couple of episodes probably after the mars fight or something i imagine because you know you get to see magna and luck and a bunch of the other people so it skips along head back into like where obviously noel would know of these characters and then Ozzy, we don't know his, uh, what's happening with Domin uh, Dominique and Ozzy, Mariella's been chasing him for a while and they've been having this with you. It's I think it's just it, overall, and I think in all areas, it was just Pollyanna. Now again, I want to read the light novel. Regardless, I will be getting the light novel at some point because I just want to confirm it and whether or not they will be licensing it over here. If not, I'll just get the Japanese import and I'm sure someone will, like I know someone eventually is said that they were going to translate the, the light novel. So... We'll just have to wait and see. Again, like, this is personally not my th at all. It's like, like, it's, I don't think it's the weakest Black Clover episode. It is definitely the most problematic having, I don't know, I'd like to say even had, like, an identity crisis. I, I felt like, 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 this was the one time where it's like, this show didn't know what it wanted to be. And then also as well, just the constraints of, like, um, yeah, so we're putting all our top animators into the witch stuff that's coming up. So, yeah. Gonna, we're gonna work on that stuff like again like I, I i maybe that's just i was really excited and high expectations where i'm a little bit more bummed out with this episode i i don't know i guess maybe that's just what it was with this episode of black clover and i'm, I'm still looking forward to next week's one because again it's still more new content for me so i'm like oh dude as someone that's a manga reader like yay like i it's nice to be surprised and normally where it's like we think of quality of filler <laughs> And, like, because at the end of the day, like, it is, like, a lot of people say this is filler. This is, like, oh, adding random ends. But it's, like, when you think of, like, content that wasn't in, like, you know, a new material for the manga or, like, stuff that's being added in, like, uh, whether it's filler or whether or not it's been light novels or stuff like that. Obviously, Naruto Shippuden did that. And, like, some of those episodes were really good and some of them were really fucking bad. So, again, like, 
We'll have to wait and see. But that's, uh, I want to see what you guys think of the episode down below. What do you think about this Black Color episode? Do you think this was a really bad episode? Do you think it was mixed? Like, did you enjoy it? Or, and especially as well, what do you think about Franza, Mariella, and uh, Dominique uh, that you'll uh, hopefully be seeing sometime soon? But, again, thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.